good morning uh, good morning guys so this video is just a rundown of uh, the fights that just they happened this early morning if you joined our live stream earlier by nine o'clock you would have caught the uh, fight live but since you guys didn't catch the fights live i'm here to tell you guys everything about it what happened how it uh, how it started and uh, who and who the fight was between who started the fight who instigated the fight everything about it so i welcome each and every one of you to my youtube channel if this is your first time please do the needful uh subscribe to the channel give this video a massive like and uh enjoy the video guys so after the whole fights of uh, yesterday we thought that okay maybe since the since uh the housemates were all about the love and light the whole of last week and then the fight happened yesterday we thought okay maybe they'll go back to the to normal love and light uh this week but no that wasn't the case this um early morning just immediately after they got out of the uh exercise room really they got out of the arena arena after the whole one hour workout session they got out of the arena they decided okay let's just have a general meeting and talk about the task that was the whole process so along the line cc decided okay that she isn't filling the whole garden she just said okay she went outside the garden then outside the garden she started uh, giving us a very good rendition i don't know the song but it was very nice coming from her so along the line of singing the song everyone was everyone else was inside the house and they were deliberating on how to divide the tax and uh, how to uh, some some of them were uh, giving out who to do who who would do which uh, thing for the task because this week's tax is about singing so they were all planning on okay who will do this and how they uh, how they all work together to make the to win the task but some of them started noticing that the house, that the, that the whole lounge area that they are and the whole dining we are dating. So they started uh, complaining that the house was dated, that who ate and didn't wash the plate, that someone cooked and didn't clean the kitchen. So the house started uh, having, an, not, not an argument, but kind of talking about it. And uh, doing as the head of house said, okay, CC is not here. And they, they noticed that some uh, most things that they are complaining about, some said uh, CC was supposed to clean it, some said CC is not supposed to clean it, that it's not uh, her fault. So, doing as the head of house decided, okay, why not let me go outside and, and call CC just to ask her what is going on, why she hasn't cleaned the dining. So, we didn't see the big brother didn't show us uh, what was going on. But all of a sudden, we started hearing CC fighting and calling names, uh, blabbing. I, I don't even know what was going on. Then Big Brother decided, okay, show us what was happening. But we didn't see anybody. We just only saw CC getting very angry for no reason. Then from what from the conversation she was having uh, with Ike, she, uh, she told us that it was a uh, uh, doing that caused the whole mess that caused her to get angry that doing was very disrespectful to her and the uh, ek was like yes that was the same thing she did inside that was the same thing she did inside and she said you are you are very disrespectful for working out on the whole group and the uh, cc was trying to explain to ek yes that the whole group that it wasn't like they called a meeting and that she's not the only one that wasn't there why would doing come to her Precisely to tell her that she is very disrespectful for not being in the meeting. That that wasn't a meeting. And Messi, the likes of Messi and Angel were not there uh, in the lounge when the whole gathering was happening. But why would doing come to her, CC, to tell her that no, hey, she's uh, she's uh, very disrespectful? How of all the person to come to her, it's doing. And guys, we know how saucy and how CC's mouth is. It's very bad, and when she gets angry, the, the the thing that the venom that she spits, yo, it's very bad. So along the line, the whole thing started, and she became very angry. She started shouting on, on top of her voice, started uh, calling Ile by a name, small uh, small child. Look at this uh, kid of yesterday because you want your head of house. You think that we are now on the same level because we are in Big Brother together. You think you can talk to me anyhow? 
So that's the whole thing was going on. And Ike was trying to tell her to the calm CC down. In a way, he is also instigating the whole fight because he was the one that told uh, uh, CC what uh, Doyin said inside the house when they were having the gathering. It was Ike that instigated the fight and then he just sat down eating uh, his rice. As the whole fight unfolded. So along the line of CC venting and getting angry at Ile, uh, Doyin for talking to her about her being disrespectful to Doyin. Um, Perry, Perry made a comment. Perry made a comment by the kitchen side. Ha, him, uh, Cross, uh, New and their white money. Four of them were in the kitchen. Neo was uh, cutting his onions and tomatoes and the uh, sausages for his uh, noodles because Neo wants to make noodles. So he was cutting the noodles, but from inside he could hear from inside he could hear Sissy blabbing from the bathroom about uh, how people are disrespecting her. Do they know who they are? Do they know who they are? And then Neo, in a way, kind of picked offense. On how CC has been challenging the housemates, telling do they, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? So Neo was like, "Who the fuck are you? You are you are a lawyer. You said you are a lawyer, but the only thing that you can speak for yourself is having a clothing brand." <laughs> but that was the, that was he, he was only saying it to himself and to the hearing of uh, Perry and uh, White Money. So <laughs> from there, everybody started uh, laughing because. Uh, uh, CC kept on saying, uh, ask about me, ask about me, do you know who I am, ask about me. So Neo was like, you keep on saying, ask about you, ask about you. Yeah, we know who you are, you're a lawyer with a clothing brand. <laughs> and uh, Perry made the comment. I don't know who told CC that Perry made the comment that Perry made. And then CC lost it, guys. Phew! If you thought you guys knew CC from 2018, I'm sorry. This is a new CC. CC lost every atom of respect. Every atom. I don't, hey, she lost it. The, the type of insult she rained on uh, Perry this morning. This early morning, guys. It's on it's on two. I will look for the video. If I still have it, I will look for the video. And then I will post it on my channel for some hours before I delete it. Because it's a copyright content. So I can't just uh, leave it there on my channel. I will get a strike. But I will post the video. For you guys, so the whole insult, uh, per, uh, CC was running on Per. I think I wrote some down. Yeah, I think I wrote some down. So let me uh, read a little bit of what uh, CC called Per this early morning, guys. CC called Per bloody coward, fool, uh, demon. Yeah, bad human being. The only thing you are good at is pressing yash. You follow girls up and down. Nobody wants to agree for you. You follow small girls up and down. Nothing. You don't get anything. Money you don't get. Now, for, now to follow girls, we don't go agree you guys. And if you remember, this was the same thing Venita said about her parent when they were having their little fight or little argument. The same exact word Venita used to describe her was the same thing uh, Sissy was also using today to describe her and they calling him demon, saying that he's not a good person, that he will go behind people's back and talk all the rubbish that he wants to talk, but when he's facing those people, he will act all angelic and all, and all good, that he's not a good person. He's not a good person. And then uh, people were telling uh, Perry not to respond to Sissy, not to respond to Sissy, that Sissy is just uh, looking for highlights. That he shouldn't respond to CC. That he should just be quiet and let everything die down. He shouldn't give CC highlight. But guys, we know Pere Pere doesn't back down from a fight. So Pere decided to respond as the general that he is. He decided to respond. And then he started going back and forth. If CC calls him idiot, he calls CC idiot. If CC calls him bloody fool, he calls CC bloody fool. And then out of nowhere, Pere dropped the most bombastic line I've ever heard. In all the fight that has happened in the uh, big big brother us that season. So Pere was like, Oh, so you are doing all this to me. You think I'm Toby? Phew! Guys, CC has lost it before. But immediately Pere said, You think I'm Toby? It's like CC went from 
1,000 to 1 million automatically. And I was like, what do you mean? You can't even be Toby. You can't stand close to Toby. Who are you? You can't do anything. You are not Toby. Sure. Guys, I'm telling you. And then everybody was like, Pere, please don't give this girl a high. Don't give this girl a highlight. Don't, uh, don't en enable this whole thing that she's doing. You can see that she's using this thing for strategy. It was a cross that was telling Pere not to do this, not to return words with a CC. That whatever CC is doing, he should just uh, walk away. That uh, he has noticed that to, uh, CC is using another strategy for this week. That the whole week, that this week, that CC's strategy is to get the whole housemates to hate him, to hate her. That that's CC's uh, strategy. And if Pere keeps on returning words with her and then they exchange words and they banter and they call each other's name, that that will enable CC's strategy. That he should just walk out. That was the everything Pere and then Kimopra was telling, oh, sorry, uh, Cross and Kimopra was telling uh, Pere that he should walk out, that he shouldn't enable CC's uh, strategy. But we know Pere, he doesn't give a shit. And if you talk bad for it to him, he will talk back. So everything, everything just, it died down. And then all of a sudden, CC went outside. I don't know what he told him, told her. She came back again. Gone blazing, guys. It was, Pere, uh, CC was raining fire, fire and brimstone on uh, Pere. There is no name CC didn't call Pere today. Another one he called her, your father is a coward. In, re in response, uh, Pere, returned, Pere said, you are, a, you are short. You have a young leg. Yeah. CC then responded, you did for woman DM since 2018. She never replied you. And you still come here, they pursue the same woman. She never replied you. For how many years now, you they pursue one woman. She never replied you. You know one let them go. Okay. CC continued, bloody coward. In response, Perez said, your generation, um, uh, your, your generations are coward. CC returned, your, it's your generation that are mad. Perez returned, it's your generation that are mad. Then CC said, brainless human being. In return, Perez said, brainless human being. So guys, anything, anything CC called Perez, Perez returns it back. Anything CC calls Perez, Perez returns it back. And then, CC said, your family is a fool. Yo. Pere also did the same thing. Your family is a fool. And then the whole house was like, no, Pere, you shouldn't go there. You shouldn't keep quiet. CC started again. Bloody coward. Foolish woman. Foolish man. You call me yam leg. But you've been in my DM since 2018. Why? Yo, guys. I couldn't write everything down. Because the way CC was just spilling everything, I couldn't, I couldn't write everything down in time. I couldn't catch everything that she was saying. But, sure, oh, oh, that's the only thing I can say. Today's fight, it was top. It was, sure. And the CC also said, uh, Pere borrowed. Yeah, let me read what she said. You did my DM sis, and you are calling me young leg. No woman won't agree you. Brainless human being. You lied about everything. You borrowed everything. You even borrowed the Tesla. The teeth you are shining, you borrowed it. Phew, guys. And you will remember, this was the same thing uh, Venita was playing to Ike the day uh, she had a fight with uh, Pere. That everything Pere is using, that Pere is faking uh, his lifestyle, that uh, he borrows to maintain his lifestyle, that he doesn't have anything to his name, that he, uh, even in a way, Venita instigated that Pere is a jiggle. And if you know, a gigolo is someone that sleeps with other women for money. So now, CC is also repeating the same thing. And to be honest with you guys, I don't even know if it's true or if she's just saying it to make Pele feel bad. But whichever it is, uh, there's a saying in my country. If two people, if one person sees a snake, it's not a snake. But if more than two people sees a snake, it's a snake. So for if Pele, if Venita and the CC are saying the same thing. Is Pere a gigolo? Is Pere poor and flaunting that he's rich? Guys, I don't know. I'll leave that to you to comment. Tell me what you feel. If you watched it, tell me where I'm wrong. Uh, if you didn't watch it, please go look for a video. I will, I will try and upload the video for 
some hours then i will delete it guys so far it's been chaos since morning it's been very chaotic this since morning and uh, that's my timer so i will be ending the video here and uh, i'll encourage you guys to please keep on uh, liking my video keep on uh, subscribing and uh, i'll keep you guys updated on everything that is going on and please tune in and enjoy my live stream because i'll be going live in uh, five minutes bye bye